Wow, what a beautiful Sunday morning. You hear the birds chirping, you see the bright sunlight hitting your face. Just kidding, I'm not a morning person at all. I usually fully wake up only by 12 p.m. But today it's different because we're going to the Sunday morning meeting at the Jesus Called Prayer Tower. So I'm getting ready by first reading the Bible and praying. This morning, I read a few scriptures from Isaiah 41. So many verses stuck out to me, so I clung on to those verses as a promise for the whole day and said a prayer thanking God for the promise and for Him to guide me throughout the day. And that is how my daily meditation went. After reading the Bible and praying, I continued with getting ready. So I hopped into the shower and then I started getting ready for the day. After that, I had some idlis and chicken curry for breakfast and headed over to the meeting. This is typically how my morning looks like. Hey guys, so I just got back home uh, from the Sunday prayer meeting at Jesus Calls. So today, it was a very kind of slow day in the morning because I'm not very, um, let's just say mornings are not my strong suit. Um, so after getting ready um, and after preparing, I went to the meeting. My parents and my grandmother, we all went to the meeting and um, uh, since they have Sunday prayer meetings every week, uh, we decided to go and uh, minister there this morning. So let me just tell you what happened. It was a very um, powerful meeting actually um usually sundays it's just we wake up and like we're like groaning and we're like oh no we have to get up in this day of rest and go very early in the morning uh get ready and go but um today it was kind of different it felt um even if the uh, starting felt like that going there just walking into the building and sitting there in the auditorium it just felt like immediately uh, we were just wrapped up in the presence of god um, just like when we heard the um, singer singing the songs, you could just feel uh, the presence of God filling you right at that moment. So it was um, powerful right from the beginning. All the tiredness, all the um, uh, very like sluggish feeling left and uh, it just refreshed me immediately at that moment. Um, so after that, um, uh, we heard testimonies from a bunch of people, uh, three people uh, talked about how God uh, did miracles in their lives, uh, even though in the beginning they might be full of problems or full of unbelief or struggling um, because they had literally nothing or no hope in their life. But then just because of their little small act of faith, um, either giving to the ministry or uh, hearing words from God and applying it in their life. They could see so much difference um, and God kept blessing them again and again. The more uh, faithful they were to God, the more God blessed them more and more and more. And uh, today they are not even able to count the blessings that they have. So they just keep saying and saying how much God has blessed them, uh, their health, their house, their uh, children, their studies. Um, one person said that they got a house, uh, not just one but two houses. They uh, uh, God blessed her children and uh, gave them multiple degrees, gave them beautiful family life, um, blessed their, them financially, blessed their health. Like they have no need for anything now. That's how much God blessed them over the past couple of years because of their little acts of faith. Um, so it was just refreshing our faith listening to that because sometimes um, we think, oh, um, uh, we live like a routine life, uh, mundane life. Uh, we don't uh, get any spiritual growth. But then listening to them, 
uh, express how much God blessed them. It just re- rejuvenates our faith, saying that God is able to do that in our lives as well. And we cling on to God even more, follow Him even more, and uh, want to do something for God even more because of that. So that just re- rejuvenated me this morning. And after that, I heard my mom preach about um, giving praises to God, uh, how much ever we can, to the best of our ability. Just keep praising Him uh, in the midst of sorrow, in the midst of problems. Just praise Him, and just as we heard in those testimonies, God will uh, bless us in double measure more than we can even imagine. Um, so uh, after that, I uh, talked about my testimony of how. I got saw uh, I saw God in the midst of my loneliness in the midst of my worries or irakoreya 10 varadangal munadi nanu yesuvame ta ketta yesuvame na thanimiya irukuren abindru na sonna na school padichittirukumbodhu amma appa over naalum or 3 maasam seindhu ministry panna povanga uliyum seiya povanga appo na ஸ்கூலுக்கு தனியாக போவேன் நடந்து போவேன் குளூரில் கஷ்டமாக இருந்தது ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இல்லை அந்த ஊரில் அப்போ நானும் ஏ சுவாமிகிட்ட கேட்டேன் எவ்வளோ நாள் நான் தனியாக தனிமையாக இருக்கணும் சுவாமி நீர் தான் இந்த இந்த ஊருக்கு என்னை கூட்டிகிட்டு வந்தீர் நீர் தான் பெரிய காரியங்களை செய்ய போகிறீர் அப்படின்ட்டு வாக்கு தத்துங்களுக்கு கொடுத்தீர் எதுக்கு நான் இந்த கஷ்டத்தை மத்தியில் போகணும் அப்படின்ட்டு நான் கேட்டேன் அப்பொழுது ஏ சுவாமி எனக்கு ஞாபகப்படுத்தினார் அவர் சிலுவையில் தொங்கினதை எனக்கு ஞாபகப்படுத்தின அவர் அவர் அவருடைய உடலிருந்து ரத்தம் சிந்தினதை நான் பார்த்தேன் காயங்களை பார்த்தேன் அவர் தலை மேலே அந்த தான் சொல்ல கிரீடத்தை பார்த்தேன் அப்பொழுது அவர் எனக்கு ஞாபகப்படுத்தினார் எல்லாமே நீ இப்போ என்னெல்லாம் ஃபீல் பண்ணுறியோ நானும் அதை ஃபீல் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் நானும் அதை உணர்ந்துருக்கேன் அப்படின்ட்டு என் சுவாமி எங்கிட்ட சொன்னார் நானும் அந்த தனிமையை நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணேன் யாருமே எனக்கு இல்லை அப்படி என் சுவாமி எங்கிட்ட சொன்னார் அந்த அந்த கஷ்டம் எல்லாமே நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் அந்த வலி எல்லாமே நான் நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணிருக்கேன் அப்படின்னு ஏ சுவாமி சொல்றேன் நீ நம்ம தனியா இல்ல நான் உன் கூட இருக்கிறேன் அப்படின்னு ஏ சுவாமி சொல்றேன் இன்றைக்கு ஏ சுவாமி உங்க ஒவ்வொருவரையும் கூட இருக்கிறார் அவர் உங்களுடைய காய்கள் எல்லாத்தையும் பார்க்குறார் நான் எல்லாத்தையும் உணர்ந்திருக்கேன் என்னோட செல்லமகளே நான் உணர்ந்திருக்கேன் என்னோட செல்லமாக அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறார் நீ நம்ம தனியாக இல்லை நீ நம்ம அதை சஃபர் பண்ண தேவையில்லை என்னுடைய காயங்களால் உனக்கு சுகம் கிடைக்கும் என்னுடைய ரத்தத்தினால் நீ கழுவப்படுவாய் உன்னுடைய பாவங்கள் எல்லாத்தையும் நான் நீக்கி போடுறேன் அப்படின்ட்டு எஸ் சுவாமி சொல்கிறார் என்னோட கிருபை உனக்கு போதும் என்று என்று எஸ் சுவாமி சொல்கிறார் இன்றைக்கு அவருடைய பூர்ண அன்பு நாள் உங்களை நிரப்புறார் நான் எப்படி எஸ் சுவாமியோட அன்பு அன்னைக்கு கண்டேனோ எஸ் சுவாமியோட கிருபை அன்னைக்கு கண்டேனோ அதே போல் இன்றைக்கு அவர் உங்களுக்கு காண்பிக்கிறார் இன்றைக்கு அதுக்கு நம்ம நன்றி மட்டும்தான் சொல்லணும் நான் தனிமையாக இல்லை சுவாமி உங்களுடைய பரிசு தாவினால நிரப்பும் சுவாமி அப்படின்ட்டு நீங்க கேளுங்க இன்றைக்கு அவர் உங்க கூட கூட நிரம்பி இருப்பார் ஐ டாக் அபவுட் ஹவு ஐ மெட் காட் இன் த டார்கஸ்ட் பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் மை லைஃப் அண்ட் um how i saw his body being broken for me and how i gave my life to christ so um and how god was with me at that time uh and he will be with you in the midst of your sorrow and he says that uh i have already uh experienced all of that uh when i was hanging on hanging there on the cross all the sorrow all the pain all the suffering all the loneliness anything you can imagine god has already faced that on the cross and he has defeated it 
and uh, he knows what you're going through right now and he will bring you out of it and bless you in double measure so i am what i am because of that uh, moment uh, where god met me and uh, i was able to uh, encourage people through that experience and uh, lead them into worship uh by thanking god for that sacrifice that he had given uh for us um and then i sang nan kandain um it was wonderful and it was very moving and people just gave um just uh accepted that sacrifice in their lives and their hearts and invited jesus to live in them at that moment and give thanks for his grace his love and his uh peace that uh, they experienced that at that moment um after that my dad preached and prayed um we heard the testimonies after that as well of what god did at that meeting uh so it was powerful we could see like how god was moving uh in real time uh so uh like the whole place everybody in that uh, auditorium were all like uh united in one spirit filled with the presence of god and just um acknowledging it recognizing it and moving in it so it was such a wonderful experience this morning at the prayer tower um after that uh, we sat together as a family and thanked god for all he did during that meeting um had a few snacks and now i'm back home uh so this is what happened uh, till now um i will show you what the day holds even after this and let's see what the sunday looks like in stella's life Hey guys, so I am back. Um so after coming back from the meeting, I went shopping with my mom and my cousin. Um I wasn't able to vlog that, but we had lunch and we spent some time at the mall. Um we shopped for a few hours and now it is 8 o'clock and I'm going to it's actually 7:57 at 8 o'clock. I'm going to discuss for one of my future music videos. So I'm having uh the team uh with me on video call and I'm going to discuss um the structure the idea for the music video uh what all it's going to take so all the nitty gritty details I'm going to plan with them so yeah um watch a little clip of that and I will show you how it goes ஹலோ 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 இப்போதான் கனெக்ட் ஆச்சா கேக்குது எப்படி தெரியும் ஹலோ கேக்குதா அப்படியா சரி கனெக்ட் ஆகலன்னு நினச்சேன் உங்களுடைய பிரசன்ஸ்க்காக நன்றி இன்றைக்கும் நான் பற்றி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணலாம் அப்படின்ட்டு உங்களை கூப்பிட்டுருக்கேன் நாம் கூடி வந்திருக்கிறோம் அதனால் I just finished the meeting and it went really well. We made a lot of progress. Um so I just put out a casting call for that music video on my Instagram. A lot of people have already started responding and it's only been a few minutes since I posted it. Um so I've already been getting responses. Can't wait to see how it all turns out. Um So fun fact, my camera actually died after that sentence and uh I'm about to pass out too because I'm really tired. It is now currently 11:50 since I put my uh battery on charge and took it out. So in the meantime, I finished um a lot of things actually. I edited a video that is going to go up soon and I also uh took a look at the responses that you guys sent me regarding the music video so yeah it was a packed day um I'm really tired i'm going to go wash my face and then go straight to bed and sleep for as long as i can so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up this is typically what my sunday looks like i'm usually really busy on the weekends just running here and there meeting a lot of people 
hanging out with them and spending time with them. So, um, so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and comment below what your Sunday typically looks like, what uh, all the stuff that you do uh, that makes it special for you. Um, and also subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. So until I see you next time, bye!